Rules of Sumo Wrestling. Greetings, fellow athletes. Today, we're talking about sumo wrestling rules. So let's start. The objective in sumo wrestling. The objective of sumo wrestling is to force your opponent out of the ring or force your opponent to the canvas. Scoring in sumo wrestling. One, sumo wrestling doesn't have a scoring system. Two, it's based upon a simple win-lose format in which there are no tied bounds. Three, however, there are various levels of sumo wrestler dependent upon ability, and they exist effectively in six divisions in which promotion and regulation are possible every year. Four, wrestlers are awarded points depending upon their performance at the main sumo tournaments, which then affects their rankings within their division. Rules of Sumo Wrestling First, in sumo wrestling, bouts take place in a ring that is approximately 15 feet diameter and is raised on a block of clay known as a doyo, approximately two and a half feet above the ground. Two, all sumo wrestling bouts are initiated with an elaborate ceremonial ritual in which the wrestlers both perform certain actions and throw salt into the ring. After the ritual is over, the two wrestlers face each other and wait for the referee to begin the action. Three, both the wrestlers get ready by crouching with their fist on the floor until the referee signifies the start of the match. Four, once the referee initiates the match, both fighters then engage with each other in an attempt to win the bout. Five, there are essentially three ways that a ricochet can attempt to win the match. One, pushing their opponent out of the ring. Two, grabbing their opponent's belt and forcing them out of the ring. Three, forcing their opponent to the floor. Six, a sumo wrestler, also known as a rikishi, is permitted to use any technique to try and win the match, other than one, hair pulling, two, punching, three, striking the ears, four, choking, five, attacking the groin area. Seven, the moment one of the competitors is forced out of the ring or to the floor, the match is over and the referee announces the winner as well as the technique that was used to win the fight. 8. In the case the sumo wrestler employs an illegal technique, such as a kinjite, or one of the belts becomes undone, they can also lose the match. 9. While engaging in a sumo fight, the only equipment that is required for the wrestlers to wear is a mawashi, which is the loincloth that is made of tough, heavyweight fabric. 10. Wrestlers are also expected to grow their hair long and wear it in a top knot. 11. Although it is possible that a wrestler wins the match if the opponent is disqualified or if one of the competitors is not deemed fit to continue, it is not possible to draw in a sumo bout. 12. Sumo matches rarely last more than a minute. That's it, folks. Make sure you thoroughly go through each of these rules before participating. Share with us your experience in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.